Well, hello and a very warm welcome to you all. After seeing the blazing badass Seltos and the aspirationally extravagant Carnival, Kia brings to you something wild. It has already created a huge anticipation and was such a runaway success at the Auto Expo that it was awarded the best show car. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the world premiere of the Sonic, right here from the Kia Design Studio. And it's a big proud moment today as we witness Kia Motors second world premiere in India with the Kia Sonnet. I'm Angad Bedi and I'm going to take you through the story of the Sonnet. What makes it wild? What makes the design so distinctive? What makes the technology best in class? And today we meet the extraordinary team of thinkers, the designers and its creators. And of course, staying true to Kia's promise to surprise. To tell us more about Kia Motors' vision of the brand new SUV, let's welcome Mr. Ho Sung Song, President Kia Motors Corporation, joining us from Seoul, Korea. Hello, Mr. Song. Thanks, Angad. Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining us today on yet another milestone occasion for Kia Motors. In just a moment, we will have the world premiere of the long-awaited Sonat. Thank you, Angad. Uh, I'm very happy to be here. Karim Habib is my name. And I am responsible for the, uh, the whole team that is the great team at Kia Design. Mr. Habib, the Sonnet is being premiered in India before being launched globally. Has that influenced its design inspiration? Yeah, definitely. The, the Sonnet was very much inspired by, by India. As a matter of fact, our team traveled uh, here before the project started and um, discovered many things about India. It was actually very influenced by the, the young and, and passionate and dynamic culture that you find in India. Uh, we were also inspired by the traditional architecture, but also the modern architecture that you find in, in the big cities here in India that are, that are developing extremely fast. Um, you know, the, the, the actual silhouette, the presence of the vehicle has a lot to do with what we believe the young people and the young at heart in India would like to have. Uh, or smaller details like materials or light or colors that are obviously very important in India. But uh, why don't you take a look at it uh, for yourself? Well, all I can say is I just can't wait to see it. Ladies and gentlemen, the Kia Sonic, made in India for the world, inspired by India's young and passionate culture. Strong, trendy, and a design marvel. Mr. Habib, the first thing what is so distinctive is the Sonic's bold profile. Please tell us more about the inspiration behind the design. The Sonic was inspired by the baby elephant. The baby elephant is a fantastic, little, powerful, compact, friendly animal. And we interpreted that in a few ways. For example, we have a long hood. We have a powerful uh, front, powerful uh, stance, 
powerful presence in the front. You have the black A pillars that allows as well for that dynamic silhouette for the hood to seem longer for such a compact vehicle. We have these generous big volumes. You have really strong volumes over the wheel arches. So you have really compact, powerful, round. And um, that really, all in all, if you take everything together, we really feel when you look at it and you look at the baby elephant, we really can see the link. So we believe that kind of power is visible from the inspiration all the way to the final design. I see the Kia Tiger nose grille looks more powerful than ever. And also some new additions to the front side. So what's the story behind these gorgeous headlights? Well, the headlights and the Tiger nose grille, which you mentioned, is of course a very important to every Kia. In this case, we tried to evolve the Tiger, Tiger nose grille to something a bit more powerful. That's why you have it, it has this kind of tusk-like uh, feature to it. Uh, the headlamps, uh, the headlamps you know, on every car, they are very important for the character of the vehicle. That's why we designed what we call the Tiger Eye Line, so that you have this powerful, concentrated look to the vehicle when you look at it in daytime and nighttime. Uh, getting back to the grill, we were actually inspired by some details that we saw traveling to India. Some traditional architecture has some very sophisticated maths into the architecture of it. For example, we saw a, a well, a step well, that has these beautiful structures that we literally uh, integrated into the design of the Tiger Nose Grill. Um, we also, uh, in the rear, uh, we tried to create that same sense of power. Uh, that's why the car feels very wide for a compact car as it is. That's why we have the wraparound glass that really uh, gives the car a lot of width. And that's why the signature of the tail lamps, uh, similar to the front, has a very continuous uh, feature to it that really gives it a lot of width. Strong presence indeed. So let's step inside for a moment. Kia is always a brand that's been ahead of its curve. That brand that understands that cars are no longer just modes of transportation, but lifestyle spaces. What are the new surprises we can expect from the interiors of the Sonnet? The interior of the Sonnet is designed in the same way as we do for many vehicles. We believe that life inside the vehicle has to be very natural, has to be very intuitive. And at the same time, you have to have a, a strong emotional connection to the vehicle. You live with it every day. And today, the digital aspect is very important. So that's why we designed a digital cluster, as well as a central display that may be one of the biggest in this segment. Uh, we also uh, believe, and especially for, for India, uh, climate inside, uh, the temperature inside, the airflow inside is very, very important. That's why we have these big kind of double layer vents that allows really for uh, ultimate uh, comfort. So really, uh, as you see, it's all about naturally using technology and feeling comfortable and um, intuitively functioning inside the vehicle. Wow, sporty, bold, tough and wild. Kia Sonnet makes quite a powerful visual statement. Thank you, Mr. Habib, for taking us through the design story of the Sonnet. But don't minds are a rage in India. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for taking the time. Thanks for guiding us through this. Thank you uh, to you out there who are watching this. It's been a real pleasure presenting the, the, the labor, uh, the fruits of our labor. Uh, it's, been, uh, it's been great working on this project. Uh, we wish we could have presented everything uh, in person, but as the situation is the way it is, we hope uh, first and foremost that everybody is uh, safe and everybody's healthy and um, that all of you will soon be driving lots of Kia Sonnets. So thank you and take care. Sonnet clearly is unique and stylish. On the technology side, we'll make sure that we offer a lot of features for our customers including 1025-inch AVNT, uh, intelligent manual transmission, and an air purification system that is the world first, just to mention a few. The sound system, ventilated front seats, very intelligent luggage uh, compartment uh, configuration that will help our customers to emotionally link to their products. That does that into considerations. For the first time in this category, we are introducing the dual thing concept with the addition of GT Line trim. The GT Line is visible manifestations of Kia's sporty spirit and the luxury appeals. The idea behind it is to attract customers who wanted the extra dash of sportiness, luxury, and attitude. 
and the GT line so that will have a sporty red accent on the exterior. Red accent on front and rear bumper, red calipers and the GT line wedging to confirm the sonnet aggressions. Talking about the interior, the old brake trim with the red stitching in select areas give the cabin a sporty feel, mm -hmm. and the alloy pedals further reinforce its sportiness. As you would expect, the GT line is available with the performance-oriented 1.0 turbo petrol engine and the punchy and the powerful 1.5 turbo diesel. So a lot of choices are available to fit the driving needs of individuals. I can totally imagine how cool that GT line will be. Mr. Bhatt, what about diesel customers? Well, Angad, when we made the Sonnet, we consulted with prospective and existing customers in the compact SUV segment extensively. Based on their feedback, we have decided to offer another segment first, the advanced and refined diesel automatic variant. With the diesel 6-speed AT variant of the Sonnet, customers can enjoy the convenience and comfort of an automatic with fuel efficiency and the talkiness of diesel. Let me reiterate, it is the first time in the segment something like this is being offered. Well, that's brilliant. I know a lot of my young friends are going to love the diesel automatic. He has always believed that cars are no longer just modes of transport but lifestyle spaces that consumers are spending more and more time in. What are the other features the Sonnet offers to each driving experience or the time spent in the car? The Sonnet debuts with some fascinating segment first. Some have been discussed earlier like the Pure App Purifier with the wireless protection and the segment best 10.25 inch HD AVNT touchscreen. Additionally, the Sonnet also offers remote engine start convenience, even in the manual transmission. It has front parking sensors, a Bose premium 7-speaker system for an exceptional listening experience, and UO connected car features with 57 functions for safety, comfort, and joy with enhanced capabilities like over-the-air updates, voice assisted,